Welcome to Allergy and Asthma Network's Patient Learning Pathway Programs. Today's program takes a look at allergen immunotherapy and allergy tablets. First, let's take a look at what immunotherapy is. Allergy immunotherapy is also called AIT. There are two forms of AIT. There are allergy shots, which are called SCIT or subcutaneous immunotherapy, and there are tablets that we refer to as slit T or sublingual immunotherapy. AIT helps build a patient's tolerance to allergens, which can reduce or eliminate symptoms. Here's how it works. The patient is given a gradually increasing amount of the allergen on a regular schedule until a maintenance level is reached. Tolerance for the allergen typically continues after AIT ends, but the long-term success varies from person to person. We talk about allergy shots in another Patient Learning Pathways program. Be sure to become familiar with allergy shots, or SCIT. It's important to know that the first dose of immunotherapy is given in the doctor's office to watch for signs of a rare life-threatening allergic reaction or anaphylaxis. Epinephrine, the life-saving medication for anaphylaxis, should be available just in case, and emergency treatment can be started if necessary. The second dose of tablets are self-administered at home. All shots are given in the doctor's office. The type of immunotherapy that we're discussing today is under-the-tongue allergy tablets. Sublingual immunotherapy, or slit T, involves taking a daily allergy tablet that dissolves under the tongue. The goal is the same as the allergy shot, to boost tolerance to allergens. Slit T is approved by the FDA to treat grass and ragweed pollens, as well as house dust mite induced allergic rhinitis. Each slit tablet treats one type of allergen. As mentioned earlier, the first dose is administered in the doctor's office, but then the tablets can be taken at home. The patient still must have access to epinephrine at home in the rare case of an allergic reaction. Slit T for grass and ragweed pollen should start three to four months prior to the start of the pollen season and continue through the pollen season for best results. Tablets for certain grass pollens are available for children as young as five years old. Ragweed tablets are for patients ages 18 to 65. Watch for more information on slit T for children as it becomes available. Slit T can be taken for house dust mite allergy. For this, allergy tablets should be taken year round. It can take 8 to 14 weeks of daily dosing to feel a difference. Tablets are indicated for patients 18 to 65 years of age. Some slit can be given as drops of liquid allergen extract held under the tongue, but at this time, this is still considered experimental and is not approved by the Food and Drug Administration. How are slit T tablets administered? The tablet is placed under the patient's tongue and held there for at least a minute without swallowing. After taking it, the patient should not eat or drink for at least five minutes. The tablet is highly allergenic, so it's important to wash your hands after taking it. If you rub your eyes immediately after handling a tablet, you could risk an allergic reaction. Parents who are giving slit T to their child at home should be sure to monitor their child for 30 minutes after giving them the tablet to be sure there is no allergic reaction. And again, while it's very rare, it's best to have an epinephrine autoinjector available if needed for an allergic reaction. Thank you for joining us for this Allergy and Asthma Network Patient Learning Pathways presentation. Allergy and Asthma Network is working every day to end the needless death and suffering due to asthma, allergies, and related conditions through outreach, 
education, advocacy, and research. Please join us for another Patient Learning Pathways presentation as we partner with you to breathe better together.